just any evidence. I'm just curious, because this looks like harassment to me, yeah, and I'm going to make a complaint. Sir, you know I stopped you? No, what? Okay. When you pulled out of uh, Sherwood Lake Drive, you need to signal 200 feet prior to turning. He takes the magazine out of the gun. Badge number. Get out. Get out. Hello guys, today I have again prepared some interesting incidents for you. And if you want to support my videos, I will be very grateful to you. Above, I'm broadcasting everyone who has helped me. Thank you and let's get started. We need to discuss what happened in the parking garage today, yesterday and what happened today with the parking <laughs> officer. That's not true. You're lying. <laughs> Why don't you hang on, I'm going to write you a citation. Sure. Should you choose to leave? A uh, warrant will be issued for your arrest. We're pretty uncomfortable with your harassment. Yeah, with you guys constantly harassing us. Tough to you? Nope. No. But I'll make sure it's Roundtree. I think I know her so already. Identified. No, I just you know her already. Yes. So you guys, you're being stopped because of a. Uh, no, we didn't. We, didn't, we, didn't we weren't stopped. being stopped. You sit on a throne of lies. We didn't get stopped. We weren't we stopped. Yeah, yeah, we parked yeah, here. We didn't get stopped. We didn't get stopped. Right. This isn't a traffic so stop. What, just my so you know. Officer What's your name? Oh, I'm not gonna give you my name. By law, you're required to give me. Okay, name. if you tell me what I did, yeah, what that would require me. You're, you're being investigated for disorderly conduct. Because you need reasonable suspicion that I committed disorderly conduct, and so if you can provide that for me, that'd be awesome. Well, flipping somebody off and using profane and abusive language. Excuse me. That's not disorderly. These guys were pulled over for disorderly conduct, but how do you know it's true? Surely the cops must have some evidence or eyewitnesses. Let's take a look at this arrest. Can you um, state the code of disorderly conduct for me, please? 458101. You have camera? You have a foot video footage of it? Any, just any evidence. I'm just curious because this looks like harassment to me yeah, and I'm going to make a this? complaint yeah. because it sounds like right. the things you said don't insinuate disorderly conduct because you have to be overly loud and disorderly in order to get disorderly conduct. So it sounds like you're just trying to charge me with something. Yeah. No, it sounds like you don't know the code, but I'll take it and I will fight it. You're, I'm complaining about both of you for harassment. So. And that's your right. Yeah, I, I'm going to. So, do you know what the Constitution is? Wow, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you don't, yeah. Okay, uh, she doesn't yeah. know who I am. No, yeah, you guys don't know. But you sure think I'm you right. have enough evidence to cite me with disorderly know, yeah. conduct, but you don't even know who I am apparently. or what I did. Yeah, apparently. So, and none of the things you accuse me of doing even constitute disorderly conduct. F***ing assholes. Oh, sorry, profanity. I'm so sorry. But harassment's okay. Oh, yeah. Harassment's yeah, fine. Profanity is bad, not. You can just harass people. Yeah, this cop clearly has a double standard and the way he breaks uh, the law, he doesn't notice. But the interesting thing is that he doesn't even know the laws. To understand simple violations, uh, he has to read about it right on the job. No reason to stop me at all? No. You thanks. just decided you'd do that? You can just do that to people? Yeah, parking. Hello? Oh, no, no. Okay. He's reading. 45A101. A person commits the offense of disorderly conduct if the person knowingly disturbs the peace by quarreling, challenging to fight, or fighting. That's so mm -hmm. such a mm -hmm. Two is making loud or unusual noise. Yep. I3 is using threatening, profane, or abusive language. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and no, what was what? it? What did I say? What? Threatening. What did I say? Yeah, exactly. Name one thing. Name one thing, please. No. I don't know. I, yeah. um, I don't know, man. It's no, gonna show up in court. It's gonna show up in court. I'm gonna sue you guys because this is harassment. You can't do that. Why, Why did you happen? stop me? I did that while I was driving my car. Okay. You often write to me that I do not tell you how an incident ended. Uh, I have told you many times uh, that the trial is long and uh, I can tell you the outcome of the case right away, but today I will. Do you remember this video? Two years ago, this man foiled an attempted theft at his liquor store. Penn stopped an attempted theft with the auto lock to his front door and held the suspected shoplifter at gunpoint. Surveillance video shows Penn unloading his gun as police arrive. The video appears to show Penn setting the magazine from the weapon down as the police officers approach. 
An officer, who has been identified as Rippon, then appears to punch Penn and handcuff him. Body camera video shows an argument between police and Penn as he is near the counter where his gun had been placed. Decatur police said an officer told Penn to put his gun down, and he responded that he had a right to have a gun. After Penn was punched, Rippon and the two other officers wrestled Penn to the floor, and Rippon handcuffed him. Penn was arrested and charged with misdemeanor obstruction of governmental operations. He spent six weeks with his jaws wired shut as he recovered from the incident. The city refused to investigate the incident, and Rippon wasn't disciplined. It took the lawyers two years to defend this man's right. Obviously, he did nothing wrong, uh, and the stupid cops attacked without objective reasons. But let's listen to the lawyer who shared how this story ended. I strongly feel they should have been dropped immediately upon this. You know, it's been three years, and he's had this case hanging over his head that whole time. According to court documents, when the police arrived at the store, the man ignored orders to put away the weapon he was using to defend himself from the robber. At the same time, the lawyer claims that the surveillance cameras showed the man putting away the weapon before the police entered the store. He takes the magazine out of the gun, he ejects the bullet from the, from the head, from the chamber, um, and puts the gun on the counter. It was also clear to the police that this man was not a robber. They identified and stepped over the robber that was on the ground and who had his hands up when they went in. Um, the end result was Mr. Penn was struck in the jaw, had his jaw broken, and was arrested for obstruction of justice. A black liquor store owner who was punched and had his jaw broken by a white Decatur police officer in 2020 alleges in a federal lawsuit that the incident was an example of systematic use of excessive force by the Decatur Police Department that the city often ignores. Sherrod said the primary reason they filed the lawsuit in federal court is the violations of Penn's constitutional rights, among other things, and the primary law is a federal law. I think you want to be able to know that you can call the police, and that's what Kevin articulated um, after the judge rendered his verdict. You know, we need to be able to trust and call our police. And the next auditor had to face some very rude cops. You know, sometimes uh, auditors can be defined, but they're just people, and cops always have a maintain uh, the chain of command, and that's the big difference between the two. So here we are, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. This is uh, car 723, car 317. I, or this is 180LIAC, or LIC. This is a 796 KTI, 217. <laughs> and you are? Excuse me. Will I get around the front? Yep. His name is 959. He doesn't know how to say his name yet. What is your name? Go away. Go on the sidewalk. What's your name? 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 Go! You're gonna get fired if you don't know who I am. Okay. I know who you are. Good, then you're gonna get fired. Go away. By policy, what is your name? Go away. No, no, your name. Go away. You've been asked by the public. Go away. Go away. Go away. What are you talking? You talk Indian to me. You're not. Go away. Go away. Go away. How about you? Go away. Go away. Go away, bald man. Where's your hair? Where's your pride? Where's your pride? Got none, eh? You cowards. Cowards, all of you. Recording. Why? What's going on? Yeah, maybe the auditor was interfering with the cops, or maybe they were preparing for a trespass and he uh, could have videotaped it. What was the problem with identifying himself? It's not like uh, he was preventing them from working inside the house or anything. They were all standing outside doing nothing. You have been told how many times? What? Uh, you walked into that scene one more time, you were going to jail for obstruction. <laughs> Go away. And you are again? You're just out here, no issue. You What's you your name again? Officer, you will go to jail. What's your name again? It's Constable Scanlon, badge number 663. Thank you. Stay you. back here. Could you tell me yours now? Go away. What's your name? Get out of my face. First. Take a big step back. Hey, Boy, Constable. If you do not move now, you're going to get arrested for obstruction. You just told me to you're stay over here. I am over stay here. Stay over there. Now. Go. Look at you guys. Go, go, go. We you're have a weapons here. call here where people are in danger. <laughs> people are getting in, involved. What in kind of weapon? Danger. What kind stay of weapon? A knife? No, a gun. Stay back there. A gun? What kind of gun? That's your last okay. warning. This is your last warning. Any more problems and you're out of the camp. 
Your last warning's now. Don't ever talk to me like that or you're going to be in jail. Your last warning. Bye. You got something to do. You got a gun thing to do, don't you? Yeah, I do. And that's the problem. You're distracting everyone in this investigation. That is your last warning. You're distracting you yourself. This line, you are going to jail. You're distracting yourself. Go away. Go do your job. Badge number. Back up. Badge number. Back up. Badge number. Okay, man. You're and the last video for today is about harassment and unlawful search. Uh, there won't be any particular rudeness here, but we should discuss how you should behave during an illegal detention. Sir, you know I stopped you? No, what? Okay. When you pulled out of uh, Sherwood Lake Drive, you need to signal 200 feet prior to turning. Also, when you were coming northbound on US 41, I had you at 39, it's 35 miles. Do you have your driver's license? Thank you, sir. You have a driver's license? You know, you took my license. You took your license? Yeah, you know it. Have I stopped you? Uh, it's, yes, you have. When was that? Still got a case pending. For what? For the OWI. When was that? I stopped a lot. Of that was back in November. November? Where yeah. was it at? It was right here. Same place. Oh, this one over here? Yeah. Okay, I gave you a uh, receipt for your driver's license. Do you not have that anymore? It's a piece uh, of paper. Um, no, I don't. I don't have it. Throw it out. Do you have a registration and insurance in the vehicle, sir? All right, registration, I got the temporary license plate right there, so I don't have registration. You don't have any paperwork? No, I just had a temporary license plate. Do you have an insurance card, sir? Yeah, I got insurance. I understand that. Whatever sir. happened to last? Can I just have you come back here with this officer, please? I uh, should. Sure. We're here again with another OW, that's not supposedly with this smell of marijuana crap. There are only two situations where the cop has the right to search your car. The officer has a valid search warrant, the officer has probable cause to believe that you possess evidence of crime. More often than not, they will come up with a reason such as uh, a smell marijuana. Unfortunately, there is nothing we can do in such cases except to take a video to protect ourselves. So I want to make sure that he's not trying to plant anything because I have nothing on me. I don't even have any, any CBD hemp. So I have absolutely nothing. He's saying that I didn't signal. You know, they use the signals as a uh, way to pull you over. Nothing but retaliation. So I want to document this obvious retaliation for when I have my next case, which is coming up on February the 22nd. Sherville Police, Officer Arventure, car number 211. Same car. It's not a coincidence. Coincidence don't happen. Is that open, sir? Huh? Is this open? Yeah, it does. Okay. I hit the button. It's just not open. I feel it's broken. No, I don't. Um, just so you know, there is a uh, a roach in your center console cup holder, so it's probably what we were smelling. No. Um, so it's it's there. I'll show it to you. Come on. Okay. Now he's saying it's a roach. All right. So you gotta take my whole ashtray. Can you put my ashtray back? Can you yeah. just take the. Little... Yeah, I'm not gonna take it. I'm just putting it in there for now. Why are you putting it in? I'm gonna give it back to you. I don't have any. I don't need an ashtray. I'm gonna, I'll give it right back. Okay. I gotta put that into an evidence envelope. Um, the more pressing thing, sir. Are you willing to do any field sobriety tests? Whatever field sobriety test you want but I'm not gonna go do the blood okay. test up there. I, I'm, we're not there yet, okay? I, I know, we, we, we like I said, we've been through this last time, you didn't wanna do absolutely anything else. I have a sobriety test you want. Okay, come on over here. Friends, write your opinions in the comments. I think we have a lot to discuss, and anyone who wants to support me, I ask you to send how much you can spare by pressing the things button. This channel exists only because of you.